In this lesson, we will look at ordering and grouping slides, and this is something that you can use to organize your presentation into sections, and this in turn can assist with organizing and formatting. So you can do this anytime as you're building the slide deck or after you've already got the slide deck built. So we'll just stick with this very simple slide deck here, the integral demo. And to get started with this, all I'm going to do is click on slide number two in the presentation. And then from the home tab of the ribbon, I'm going to select this section and then add section. Now, once I do that, notice what happens to any other slides that are after this second slide, if I add a section. Now it groups all of these into this untitled section. It gives me the option here to rename the section. So we'll just call this section two. And I will click on rename. Now, if I want to add another section, I can do this again before or after the fact, before or after I've added additional slides to the presentation. But if I decide that I am going to have a section three in the slide deck, I'll just click down here after the last slide and section add section here. And this will be section three. So right now there are, there's nothing in section three, but we're about to change that. I'll select both of these slides. I will give them a copy and then I will give them a paste right there. So now, just very quickly, I have created a couple of section, actually a third section, this default section. If you create one section, then anything that's not in that section will be added to another section. So now I've got three sections in my slide deck. So now there's a couple of ways in which you can leverage your slide sections. One of them is to reorganize. So if I collapse both of these sections, I can click and drag, and once you click and drag, Notice that you'll get this little view, everything is collapsed. And then if I just move this in the slide navigator, now I will have rearranged my sections like so. And obviously just calling a section section three doesn't mean it has to be ordered that way. The other thing that's really cool about using the slide sections is that you can use it as an aid for your formatting as well. So if I collapse the section three, click on the section header, as you can see here, and then maybe go up to design and then choose a variant, choose one of my slide theme variants. I can do something like this. And once that's done, I should have applied that formatting to everything that is in section three. And you can see that is indeed the case. So not only does the background change in terms of this object in this title slide, but here the line is also changed. So now if I click on section two, this is what it looks like with a little thicker line here and obviously a different color in this shape. So not only can these sections help you stay more organized as you're designing the presentations and thinking of the order in which the slides will be presented to the audience, but they can also help you create a visual look and feel for the different sections in your presentation. Now, as a final thought here, let's reorder some slides. If I select this slide, and this time I'll just duplicate the slide, and let's just say I want to move this. And let's say I create a slide called Move This Slide, and I want to move it somewhere else in the presentation. Now, one of the things I could do is I could just go to this navigation pane, and I could click and drag it around, and that's pretty straightforward stuff. As your slides get bigger and this navigation pane becomes longer and longer, that becomes a little more difficult. So one of the things I suggest and one of the things you might want to know about for testing purposes is to go to the view tab of the ribbon and then use the slide sorter. So in presentation views here, this gives you a layout of your deck in terms of the sections, section three, section two. So if I want to move this slide over into section two and put it there, very easy with a drag and drop to do just that. And of course, in this view, like in any other, if you want to see more or less of your overall presentation, you can use the zoom slider here to make your rearranging of things very easily.